So we got this 4104 GM bus getting towed in, uh, 1953, I believe. It's got a Detroit diesel 671, two-stroke diesel, and it's getting a lot of coolant in the oil. Okay, we got to put the axle shafts back in. They pulled both of them, um, but we got to put them back in so that uh, this thing can have a parking brake. Otherwise, it's going to roll away because this this doesn't have spring brakes. It just has air brake without the spring in it. So the drive shaft brake is the only thing that'll work. But with the, the no axle shafts in there, the drive shaft brake ain't going to do a thing. And then the oak is mine. After he put the bus on the on the boom, he started jerking it around. Like it would be on the highway. He wanted to make sure it was going to stay. And, uh, oh, those are his washers. Dandy was freaking. Yeah, those are his washers. Yeah. Let me. Uh, Yeah, with those grease block off plates, only a little bit of oil comes out. So. Mm -hmm. I like those LED lighted handles. That's really cool. So they stayed the night down here by the rock. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. So we're gonna flat toe the 4104 up the hill. We run the chain over the back of the box blade down to the tow hitch before the keyboard warriors go crazy on us. We do that to give us weight on these back tires. If I run it just under the box blade straight to the tow hitch, then when we're climbing that steep hill, the rear tire is just spinning the gravel. Um, so we, this puts down force pulling down on it.
Well, we pulled this model bus up the hill before, but we just had three straight days of rain from that hurricane that came through and the driveway is just too wet. Uh, maybe I could have lowered the tire pressures in the tire a little bit and pulled it up, but it's not worth us messing around. We're just gonna park them at the bottom of the hill for now. Good there. Getting ready. Jonathan, pull the dipstick out. <laughs> oh my god. So it really is all the way up here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, your crankshaft is 100% hitting the, the oil. That's what that banging was. Isn't yeah. It? I think we filled the search tank three times. <laughs> it should be green coolant that shoots out at first. Just be prepared. It shouldn't be, but <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be. Jeez. That is not good. When it gets to oil, yeah. I'm going to have you put the plug back in, okay? Okay. Wow. Um, antifreeze first and then black. Uh, antifreeze oh. only right now. It's yeah. <laughs> a good way to keep the freaking crankcase cool, huh? Yeah. Wow, it's all in there, huh? Well, are we getting oil yet? Nope. <laughs> Eventually we will. He is. There's, Maybe, a little, looks a little funky. there's a little milkshake in there right now, but it, it should turn. Be nice it's if it's getting good. more milkshakey, but there you go. Put it back in. I think, I'm trying to think about all the stop leak that's in there. <laughs> you want it all the way, all the way? Yeah, because I want to keep, we're going to be able to recycle the coolant separately from the oil right now. Yes, yeah, so we can pour this into them. Or if you want to bring the pump too, we could use the transfer pump to do it. Uh, we got a problem here, Dan. Look right there. It's a valve bridge. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Right there? Yep. Oh, the whole thing's broken off from the head. That's the stud that holds it in. Is actually still. This is what happened to uh, uh, Jason's engine, I think. It's bent too. Look at it. There's a bend on it right there. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's where, right there. That's where it goes into the head. That that just sits on there like that. Wasted in other head, huh? This was the barn head, right? Yeah. This was the. We found this head sh sitting on a shelf for 30 years. <laughs> so there's really nothing broken in the head. It just worked its way out. The stud. So that stud goes right into the water jacket in there. So once it came all the way out, <clears throat> tons of coolant was able to just flow right up in there. 
So one of the main reasons this could happen is if the valve bridge is out of adjustment, if the adjustment screw on the top isn't set correctly with it, um, or if there's some kind of a damage on there. It's, I think it's pretty rare to see them actually walk all the way out. Usually they break off in there. Um, so that's, I've not seen them come all the way out like that before. So we'll, we're gonna see, go through and check all the other ones, make sure the, the clearances on them is exactly right. Okay, let's see how much coolant is gonna come out of there. Hey, nice pump. Pump. Pump's a pretty good shot there. It's on, yeah. Oh. I got, I got it's not as much as I thought. It's going to be five gallons anyway. Yeah. And you've already drained a few gallons out, right? Yeah, well, at first, yeah. But I put a bunch in since I drained a few gallons out. Nice pump. So. Five extra gallons. So let's see how much oil comes out of there too. This is the oil coolant mix part drain in here. So right now we're 10 gallons out of there and we're getting ready to start filling another five gallon jug. I think it's just going very slow. It might be lumpy on the bottom. It's just thick. Look at that shit. It's like lava. Here we got another five gallons. It's like mud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's room in that bucket. Let me uh, smear the coolant sucker right here. Yeah. See the yeah, I don't think green. all the coolant is out. I think it would take probably days and weeks. To free. Yeah, a long time. It eventually would settle, but yeah. Yeah. So we drained over 15 gallons of, of liquid out of the crankcase that holds six and a half gallons. So it was way, way up there. Definitely the crankshaft was hitting it. Uh, and then also the, uh, uh, probably man, might even the bottoms of the pistons were coming down and hitting it too. That's how full it was. Um, so I talked to my local guy, uh, our parts guy over at Car, uh, CarQuest and said, hey, you got any old engine oil that you, know, you, you can't really sell because it's old? We're going to put it in there and run it through the engine just few times to kind of flush things through. There's valleys and stuff in there where oil will just sit. So we want to flush as much of that crap out of there as we can. Um, plus we have to worry about, uh, he put four bottles of that stop leak in there, uh, thinking that was gonna, you know, if it was just like a head gasket type leak or something small like that, he put that in there to kind of plug it up. But because I had that massive thing, all that stop leak actually went into the oil part of the engine. That is not good. So we're gonna change the oil filter a few times too. That might be all plugged up with stop leak. Yep. So we ordered an oversized uh, valve bridge guide that we're gonna try to get in there. Um, and if that doesn't work, then we gotta go with the old style where we'll have to thread it and try and get a, th a threaded one in there. And that does require a different style of bridge that goes on there when we do that. Um, but hopefully that'll work. The oversized one, we can get it in there. It'll seal everything up and go in there. Uh, we can try the liquid nitrogen, uh, nitrogen to shrink it down. Uh, it's got brass on the inside of it, so it is made to expand and contract a little bit. So hopefully we can shrink the oversized one down and then get it fitted, fitted in there. So we're going to try that. It'll be here tomorrow. And uh, yeah, uh, we ordered, actually ordered two of them. So we had an extra one. Uh, so like, you know, $10 in parts and $90 for shipping. The engine doesn't sound like it has any damage. I was waiting to see if it was, mis you know, not running on all cylinders or smoking a lot or something like that. It's just got that horrible hunt. Um, the governor's obviously all gummed up with that stuff too. So, but we'll get everything cleaned out good, flushed out, and then I'll rerun the rack, reset the governor, check all those valve uh, uh, bridge adjustments uh, and go from there. But uh, I think he's going to be okay. We're just going to be able to replace that and, and hopefully that's all it takes.